All right, y'all. I am very excited to see mm -hmm. Katie Bone. Not only is she lead, currently in the lead of Over the Ledge, an event that I suspect she will win, although still some time remaining, I'm sure. Coming out of Ninja Force in Albuquerque, by the way. Katie at Summit Ninja Warrior became the first ever in the Elite Division to win outright. Um, the first Elite female to win outright. We've had a couple others um, do it in the Adult or Pro Division. But Katie, the first to do it, was matched by Paris Juarez. But Katie, absolutely a contender to make it very deep into this course. Not only did she win, she won by a couple obstacles. So right. that was and there was no no mistake. She is incredibly strong. And Katie Bone, one of those athletes that if we make it to stage three could take this whole competition. The grip strength on this girl is insane. Look at the confidence with which she drops down that She board. has a minute and five. We, we talked about a woman possibly clearing in the men's time limit. Katie Bone right now is the time to do it. 100%. I'm excited to see her get past these. All right. Okay, good. Katie Bone setting herself up to make some history yes. here. Yes, okay. Come on, Katie. We saw Ben Pulse in the chat saying he was going to have to wake Olivia Vivian up. It's obviously nighttime in Australia. I hope you're staying up to watch this because we could be seeing history as soon as she dismounts Bazooka Barrel because she's got loads of time. And I love the confidence with which she just pushed herself into that. Not one of our taller athletes uh -oh. and so had to... Uh, there it is. And she has seconds. 20 seconds left. No choice but to go. Come on, Katie. She's actually behind Isabella's time, so she must beat this if she wants to be world champion. Gets the second. Could this be it? Ten seconds. Oh, no way! No. No. And Katie, unfortunately, missing that final grab. I don't know if it was time or just the way she set the throw. I couldn't quite see.